Instead of processing things one after another, all agents work in parallel, which cuts down the overall runtime and gives you comprehensive coverage of the problem space. Welcome back to the Azure Essential Show. I'm Thomas Maurer, and today I'm joined once again by Clayton Simons from Microsoft Azure to explore the different ways that multiple AI agents can work together to solve enterprise challenges. And just as a quick note on this before we dive in, we are focusing on multi-agent orchestration patterns and how to think about them conceptually, not on model context protocol or implementation strategies. With that, out of the way, Clayton, welcome back to the show. It's great to be back, Thomas. Thanks. So Clayton, let's start with the basics. What exactly are AI agents and why should enterprises care about them? Sure, Thomas. Let me set the stage for this a bit. Retrieval augmented generation, or RAG, was a breakthrough moment for enterprise AI. It helped teams surface insights and get answers faster than ever before. But here's the thing. Answers by themselves rarely create business, real business impact. Most enterprise workflows actually require action. You need to submit forms, update records, or coordinate multi-step processes across different systems. So, right. So it's like having a really smart assistant who can tell you everything about your business, but can't actually pick up the phone or send an email for you. Exactly. And let's be honest, maybe some of us actually worked with someone like that before, right? Anyways, this is where agentic AI really becomes a game changer. Instead of just delivering information, these agents can reason, take action, and even work together. They're bridging that gap between knowledge and real outcomes, opening up a completely new approach to enterprise automation. Okay, so we're moving from just knowing things to actually doing things. Um, what makes this shift possible? Do AI agents actually work differently under the hood? Great question. There's an important difference to mention here about the models themselves. By now, people are familiar with large language models or LLMs like ChatGPT, and those are pretty good at a lot of things. But when we move toward an agentic design, we're typically talk talking about using several small language models or SLMs. And these are trained on very specific knowledge domains like healthcare law, for example, so agents can act as domain experts. And because they're focused on a narrow area, they can respond much faster than an LLM that has to comb through huge, diverse data sets to find the right answer. OK, so it's not about having one LLM super agent that does everything. Uh, so how should enterprises set up their agents to do, these, to do this work together? Yeah, so that's one of the key insights here. While it often starts with agents that can use basic tools, enterprise needs can go much deeper than that. And I should mention here that agentic AI isn't the right solution for every problem. It's actually one of the more complex patterns out there. For many use cases, you might want to start with something simpler, like basic RAG or single agent tools. But when you have complex workflows that truly need that level of coordination and specialization, you need agents that can think, plan, collaborate, and adapt, not just follow simple commands. And that's where multi-agent orchestration really shines. So this sounds like we need like a team of agents or teams of agents, not just individual ones. Right. No single agent can do it all. Just like how enterprises rely on teams of specialists, multi-agent patterns connect specialized agents into a network. Each agent handles a different stage of the workflow, all guided by an orchestrator, which is another agent. This approach makes your system more agile, scalable, and easy to evolve while keeping responsibilities and governance clear. OK, so we now have these powerful teams of agents, or teams of agents even. Um, you use the term multi-agent patterns. Can you, this, can you unpack this for us? Absolutely. There are a number of different orchestration patterns that have emerged, and they work like proven blueprints for getting agents to collaborate with each other. Just like the well-known cloud design patterns you might be familiar with, these agent orchestration patterns are technology agnostic ways for coordinating multiple agents to work together toward a common goal. Each pattern has its own strengths and weaknesses, so the key is really understanding your specific use case first. That'll help you figure out which pattern is the best fit for your needs and which patterns you should actually be careful to avoid for your particular use case. I love that analogy to cloud design patterns. It makes it feel more approachable. Uh, can you walk us through some of these specific patterns? Sure, let's start with the sequential orchestration. This pattern connects AI agents in a predetermined step-by-step -step order. Each agent takes the previous agent's output and processes it further, creating a pipeline of specialized transformations. 
Okay, so it's like an assembly line, but for AI processing. That's a great way to think about it. This, this approach works great when you need things processed in order, where each step depends on the one before. For example, uh, a law firm's document management software might use sequential agents for contract generation. The intelligent application processes requests through a pipeline of, let's say, four specialized agents. The first agent analyzes this, the scenario and pulls in the right template. The second then adds and removes clauses to match the use case. And the third agent applies any language needed for compliance. And finally, the last agent runs a risk analysis and makes any final tweaks. The sequential and predefined pipeline steps ensure that each agent works with the complete output from the previous stage. Okay, so that seems to be make a lot of sense for workloads where order really matters. But what about situations where you want different perspective on the same problem? Great question. That's where concurrent orchestration comes in. This pattern runs multiple agents at the same time on, their, on the same task. Each agent analyzes things independently from their own expertise and perspective. It's ideal when you need diverse insights or different approaches to tackle the same problem. So instead of waiting for agent A to finish before agent B starts, they are all working simultaneously. Exactly. Instead of processing things one after another, all agents work in parallel, which cuts down the overall runtime and gives you comprehensive coverage of the problem space. A great example is like a financial services firm that built an intelligent application using concurrent agents that specialize in different types of analysis to evaluate the same stock simultaneously. Each agent contributes their specialized insights, which provides time-sensitive input for rapid investment decisions. Yeah, I think that can be very, very valuable in fast-moving markets, especially. Um, are there any other patterns beyond like sequential and concurrent? Oh, absolutely. Beyond those two patterns, there's approaches like group chat patterns, where agents collaborate through conversations to solve problems, and handoff patterns, where agents pass the tasks to the best specialist for the job. <laughs> group chat patterns for AI agent. That's a little funny to imagine. Are there agents using emojis and GIFs in their group chats? <laughs> the funny thing is that the conversation that these agents can have can go a little sideways if the orchestrator doesn't keep it in check. Kind of a lot like you know human group chats. So it's good to have a really well thought out approach for that particular pattern. What makes these patterns really powerful is that they can handle complex situations where you don't exactly know how things will unfold. The agents can adapt and pivot based on what they learn as they go. And this is still just scratching the surface of the different orchestration patterns out there. There's so much more to explore depending on your use case and business needs. This has been such a fascinating look for how AI agents can work together. Clayton, for our viewers who want to learn more, what would you recommend for the next steps? I definitely start with the documentation on AI agent orchestration patterns on Microsoft Learn. It really dives deep into these patterns and gives you a practical guidance for actually implementing them in your own environment. Also check out Azure AI Foundry. It's a great way to see how multi-agent systems work in practice and get some hands-on experience with these patterns yourself. Perfect. We will make sure to include the links to those resources in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us today, Clayton. It was great to have you back again. Thanks for having me back, Thomas. It was fun. That's it for this episode. Don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments, give our show a like, and subscribe to the channel to get notified when a new episode drops. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time on the Azure Essentials Show.